All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna go over this new CCNA exam that everyone seems to have questions about and seems to be worried of they should wait for the exam and wait to, for it to be kind of like in for a while or should I just take this new, take the current exam before it changes? Because like, I know it's it's kind of a, you're kind of a, d a dilemma, right? You've been studying for a while, then all of a sudden you see Cisco saying, hey, the exam is changing. You're like, oh my God, I did all this studying and all of a sudden the exam is gonna change all this is going to waste. But let me just explain to you guys, this change is a very, very minor change. Like only like uh, from what I've seen, it's only 10% of the exam that's only being changed. And there's really like two or three main topics that they're adding. They're adding like a little bit of cloud, they're adding a little bit of uh, generative AI, and they're adding a little bit of other stuff. So you guys can take a look at that. But what I want to explain to you guys is like, don't be worried about, okay, the exam is changing what should I do? Like I'm like being all worried about it because I went through this exact same change. So back when the CCNA used to be called the CCNA 200-125 routing and switching, because if you guys don't know, the CCNA used to be bro broken up into multiple different um, sort of like archetypes. So they had the CCNA for routing and switching. They had the CCNA for enterprise. They had the CCNA for security. And they had a CCNA for other topics, right? But but during the time when I was studying for the CCNA, it was called the routing and switching, and that was the main one that I was really going for. And really, the routing and switching one was really the main and the most popular one within within the Cisco. So I was like mainly studying for that one. And then all of a sudden, I see oh, the exam is changing, and the exam was changing within about two months from from before I when I was studying for the exam. So I was like, should I wait? Should I go? And I was a bit worried about this. So what I uh, actually did is I just decided to wait because during that time. The CCNA was going through a massive revamp. They were getting rid of all those topics within CCN, that CCNA umbrella and moving all those topics to the CCMP level. And everything within CCNA was all going to become standardized and become the CCNA 200-301. So within the 200-301, the exam was co almost completely different. I wouldn't say completely different, but they took out m some of the routing topics like EIGRP, RIP, and some other topics as well, um, BGP as well. Some of the advanced routing topics they kind of took that away and move it to the CCMP level. And really what they did with the CCMP-2, but the <laughs> CCMP-200-301, uh, which is a current exam now, they kind of went wider. So they went and talked about automation and they wanted to make it more, how should I say? Like they wanted to make it more just wide and they wanted to cover other topics as well. Um, and they made it all multiple choice at that time. Uh, there was no labs at all. So it was completely different, right? From what it was, the routing and switching. And people thought, oh, wow, they're changing a lot. What should I do? They're really worried about it. Even I was worried at that time. And I just decided to wait. Um, and I really did that because the exam was completely different. I wanted to make sure that, you know, I can get the, the correct criteria and the, and the right books and everything. Because, you know, you want to make sure, you know, you're paying a lot of money for these uh, certification exams. You want to make sure you're studying for the right material because you don't want to, the worst case scenario is you study for like the older exam and, the, and you end up taking the new exam thinking that you have enough knowledge and you end up failing that exam because you didn't understand the newer concepts in that new exam. So that's like another mistake that I don't want you guys to make is to assume like, okay, the CCNA is changing. Um, I shouldn't like make any changes within my study plan because you absolutely should. You should see what these new topics are and see how, what the percentage that of it is going to be in that exam because... If it's a big change, right, like what it was uh, back in 2021, um, then you're going to have to definitely recorrect and really rethink your study plans and really maybe go in a different track because that's what I had to do in my case. Um, like I said, the exam was completely different. And, and during that time, I was like, it really pushed my CCNA study, like, like pushed it out really because I, you know, prior to that, I was really focused on the, on the, the routing and switching and I almost use it as an excuse to wait. And that was a really big mistake that I made is I waited so long for that new exam to be to start just so I can feel like I'm ready to start studying. So if you guys are currently studying for the CCNA and feel like, or you guys stopped because you want to wait for the new exam, I would say don't do that. What I would do is look at the new exam criteria, see, compare the differences. And, may, and for example, like you're, you guys are still studying routing topics, switching topics. So understand those fundamentals, but those little small things that they add in, obviously you can add that later on, but um, I would definitely wait. And for example, when it comes to these um, practice exams with Boson, like I said, um, you're probably better off waiting for those new exams to come within Boson because obviously they're going to update that. They're going to um, see what this new CCN is all about and update that. And I, I believe that they, they are updating that now, if not the, if not already. Um, but like I said, it's that's something that you guys have to understand is that 
just because certification changes doesn't mean you have to halt your study, um, your studying and, and really just like ignore it. So guys, do, do not worry. The change, like I said, this change is very minor. I wish I had this change when I was studying for the CCNA because back then the change was so drastic. Like everyone was so confused, like why they did this. Cause they always had like the set, this like sort of criteria that they had, but now it's like, you know, now it's like all just one exam for CCNA. And um, now you can, if you want to like do different tracks within um, the Cisco, you know, sort of like what what they have for their exams is that they only have security. Like you have to go to the CCMP level basically to get the security, the data center, the enterprise and all that. So that's just something that I want you guys to know is do not worry. Yes, the exam is changing. The exam is changing, but it's only 10% and is very minor. And they're really just adding a couple of new concepts like AI, which is definitely going to be interesting to see what, how they add that in and really incorporate it. But, um, but yeah, that's basically what's involved in this exam. Um, but yeah, from my experience, I think it's best to keep studying. Like I said, do a compare and contrast on the previous rubric and the previous rubric and the new rubric and see what the differences are. Like I said, it's a very minor difference from what I've seen. Um, and like I said, just see, see what, what's the same and study that once the new exam comes out, um, then you would want to, you know, see what the criteria is. But like I said, um, I, you shouldn't be too worried. The exam is pretty much not that much of a difference. So like I said, just learn the new concepts that are involved in this new CCNA and you'll have no issues at all. So hopefully that answers you guys' questions on whether you should guys should guys wait for the new exam or should you guys continue studying for your current exam? Like I said, they, it's changing this month, I believe in August. So if you guys haven't booked your exam and you guys are studying, you're almost there, I would say take the current exam now as, as soon as you possibly can, if you are ready. Like if you feel like they, if you feel like you're ready to take the CCNA, you've been studying for a while, you're better off just taking it before the new exam because you, like I said, you've learned all this time, and now it's gonna if you if you wait for the new exam, then you're gonna have to learn that new those new concepts within that new exam. So just keep that in mind. Um, but you never know, Cisco. They may it may be a completely different change. We're just gonna have to see when people take the exam and see what they say about it and see how much a difference it is and if it's more difficult, if it's more easy. We'll, we 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 don't really know with Cisco, so that's something we have to wait for. But we know what the current exam is. I would say study for what the current exam is. Try to take it before that end date in August if you possibly can. Um, and like I said, like I said, and also, you know, if you get your CCNA in August before the exam changes, it's not going to change your status of your CCNA status. You're still going to have your CCNA. It's going to expire in three years. So do not worry about that. Just because the exam change doesn't mean your certification is gone, right? You're still going to have, you know, your certification is still going to be valid. So um, hopefully this, this video has been helpful for you guys. Like I said, um, don't worry about it and <laughs> just don't worry about it. So um, if you guys have any more questions, please comment down below and then we can kind of go from there. But if you guys like the video, give it a like. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And with that being said, everyone, I hope you guys have a good day and uh, peace.